anybody can be a working Hollywood screenwriter? So much is out of your control. So are you saying, does anybody have the potential? Sure. Right? I don't, I don't believe that anyone, um, sh you know, should be excluded for who they are or their background uh, or anything like that. But whether or not they're going to have success, that's out of your control. Um, you know, you, you just can't control that. I mean, there are things you can do to prime yourself so you're in a better position if and when it happens. Um, but I know lots of writers who are really good and worked really hard and, you know, have, are, have not been able to make a living in the industry. Um, I also know people who've been successful and then they stop getting work, you know? So there, there are just zero guarantees in any of this. What advice would you give to your younger self about being a screenwriter? I would, I would first of all tell them that it is not like a career you can just put uh, a plan together and work hard and expect you're going to, um, you know, succeed in. There are just too many things outside of your control. And I see a lot of people, and I did this when I was younger, you know, beat myself up beat myself up the first time I submitted to Sundance and got rejected. It killed me, right? Instead of realizing there are so many factors outside of my control. Not only is, is it a huge numbers game, there are all sorts of things going on that are not in, you know, in your control. And so um, I, I think, and I think there's this uh, unhealthy mindset a lot of people had, and I probably had too, of if you just try enough, try hard enough and work hard enough and you're dedicated hard enough, um, you're going to make it. And that is, I think, a rather cruel thing, honestly, to tell people. Um, you know, yes, you should, you know, I'm all for pursuing your dreams. I've always, you know, uh, my whole life has been about pursuing things in the arts that were difficult. Um, and I've, I've gone for it, but I've never presumed I would be successful at it. Um, I was al always prepared for the fact that I may not be able to, uh, that may not happen. Um, so you can, you know, there are certainly things you can do to better position yourself for it, but you ultimately, ultimately can't be control, con you can't control that. You know, I had a writer ask me once, uh, one of my students, if his, uh, script was uh, like professional level and first of all I hate questions like that um, but w what I really hate is I don't think that there's such a thing I mean there are scripts that are well structured there are you know scripts that are enjoyable to read there are all sorts of things about scripts but I don't think there's such a thing as a professional level script um, I work with professional screenwriters you know screenwriters who've made lots and lots of money um, and their, you know, script, you know, they may have be very natural at certain things. Um, but they're also, they're coming to me for a reason. They have things they need help with. Um, and they also have things on, you know, in a first draft that I am sometimes a little surprised a professional screenwriter would even, you know, um, put, put in a script, uh, because it's, it's just not particularly delightful writing. Um, and, uh, you know, what they're, what makes a professional screenwriter is there's a whole lot of luck involved. Um, you know, yes, you should try to make your own luck, but there are a whole lot of things outside of your control. That's interesting. So in the arts, for someone to give the advice, if you just keep trying and you keep outworking the next person, you'll make it, is it is almost a cruel... I think it is cruel. Statement. Yeah, that's I think true. it is cruel. It's just not, you know, if you want to be a lawyer, yes. If you go to law school and you work hard enough at law school and you get, you know, get a good internship and this and that, you know, yes, you will probably be a successful lawyer if you work hard enough and um, and don't have, you know, something out of the blue getting your way. That's just not true in the arts. Um, there are so many things out of your control. And so I hate seeing people beat themselves up for it, you know? Um, and, um, and that's not to say don't pursue it. I'm all for people pursuing their dreams in the arts. Um, but also to be aware that there's so many things outside of your control. And it's not a judge of your talent. 
It really isn't. That's people think that there's some sort of, you know, magical um, answer to who has talent and who doesn't. It, that's just not. That's not what, how it works. You know, there are people less talented than you who are making lots of money in the in the industry for whatever reasons. Um, you know, there are all sorts of things happening, and and it's um, you know the decisions. You know, it's not. It's not like a natural meritocracy, you know. Um, the you you are at the whims of a business you have no control over, right? And the decision making that happens in that business is not necessarily that sensible sometimes, right? Or it's 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 ruled by all sorts of factors, like any business, like any business dealing with million and billion dollar you know products um, that. You know, they're not looking for the most talented screenwriter, right? They might be looking for the screenwriter who is the easiest to work with. There might there are all sorts of things going on that are outside of your control. And I, I just wish I had recognized that when I was younger. I, I would have cost me a lot less pain. And it's something I really try to have other writers realize. Just there are things outside of your control. What you should do is find a way that you enjoy it, right? Hopefully, you enjoy writing and you enjoy the process. You enjoy, um, you know. And I urge writers to not just write, to find, a, you know, not don't, writers, we put ourselves in this horrible position of please, please, please read my screenplay. You know, it's a horrible position we're putting ourselves. Nobody wants a needy person, right? That's what we are. We're, we're in this, and that's the position we're in. And I encourage writers to stop putting themselves in that position, to instead find ways to create on their own. Yeah, no, you can't create a $100 million movie on your own. But there are a lot of things you can do on your own. And there are ways to show the world you're creating stuff. Look at this person. Look at this person I found on YouTube doing this interesting web series. Look at this. You know, show the world you're not begging and waiting to be discovered. Because if you're going to wait to be discovered, or even if you're going to try hard to be discovered, you're probably not going to be discovered. But if you're trying to enjoy yourself and trying to create stories and find a way to share it with the audience, whether it's on YouTube or whatever, you know, there are all sorts of ways. Um, and you actually enjoy that process and you enjoy that other people have able to, to see it in what, whatever format it is or hear it. You know, if you do an audio fiction podcast, right, do things like that. Um, hopefully you're going to find that satisfying. Will you make a lot of money? Probably not. Maybe, you know, you're, but at least you're not sitting on your butt, you know, feeling sorry for yourself that nobody, you know, nobody read your script or you didn't get anywhere in a script competition or things like that, that you are um, actively showing the world, I create stuff because I like creating stuff. I have interesting things to say and you're not waiting for permission um, to do those things. Just do them, do them.